No signal. Of course. Oh. Oh. If conditions at your location make this a possibility, you need to consider staying in place until the threat has subsided and all blown over. You know, be, living in Florida, we've always had to have somewhere in the house a hurricane preparedness kit. And in that kit, you would have things like a flashlight, um, a radio, batteries, and water purification, whatever. You know, because in the hurricanes I've been in, the trees would take out the phone lines and the cell phone towers. So you were literally in the dark uh, for a number of days. To have another means to be able to tune in where is the fresh water, where's the food being handed out, where's Red Cross, and where's FEMA set up. All of these things that you need to know you can find usually on the weather bands. And they will be there con just continuously disseminating that information. Okay, so let's go over some of the features and the control locations for this little guy. Starting here at the top, we have our flashlight on and off switch, solar panel running down the back, and then the front is the actual flashlight lens. Below that is the SOS strobe light. On the right end is your radio tuning button, nice and large, easy to find and operate in the dark. On off switch for the radio and the volume controls below that. On the front right panel is the radio mode slide switch. Obviously this is the frequency tune display. There's a charge indicator light in there and a frequency tuner indicator. Speaker right next to that, obviously. And on top, a telescoping antenna. Back to basics. <laughs> In my hand, I have a wrist strap, or if you run your carabiner over to the other side, run it through the loop at the end, and now you can hang this from something inside your tent or somewhere in your house or RV. Right below the solar panel, we have a reading light. Nice and bright, you can set the unit down, Shine it down on whatever you're reading, a map or whatever, and lots of nice bright light for that. That's pretty nice. Battery compartment, operates like any battery compartment. You push that back, open it up, and there's your three places for your AAA battery. Located also on the back is your fold away and tucked away, hidden away crank handle. Folds out like that, and that's how you can also crank that handle and charge the lithium ion battery inside. This is the rubber protective cover for your USB output and micro USB input. And on the bottom we have USB charging, SOS, alarm on or off, and we have the power switch. Either it's lithium ion or AAA batteries. What I like about this unit is it's super compact, nice and small. You can put this pretty much anywhere in your house or in your RV. I prefer to put one in like my bedroom area and another one in the uh, kitchen living area. So that I get to either one if the lights suddenly go out and I find myself in the darkness. Another thing I like about things like this, if your hands get wet, this has a nice rubberized coating on the body all the way around. So you, it's got a good grip and feel. The flashlight switch on the top works the flashlight on the front and it, you hold it like a flashlight to operate it. So that's, that's a nice feature. Again, another thing I like are these big buttons so you can quickly find them if you need to. You know, this is the flashlight on the left side and on the right side. This is your on off switch and this is your tuning knob. Okay, some of this is uh, self-explanatory. Some of these things are particular uh, because of the different ways that you can apply power to this unit. Uh, right here on the bottom, you have the option to use this unit with the, with the AAA batteries on board or you can use the lithium ion battery that's built in that is rechargeable. If you'd like to use this unit with the lithium ion battery, you make sure that the slide switch is set to lithium ion and it will operate. And if you switch it to AAA, because your lithium ion died, switch it to AAA and it would operate, but I don't have the batteries in. I charged it and the light turned from red to green so it's fully charged. So charging your lithium ion with the solar panel. The lithium ion continuously charges with the solar panel anytime you're in sunlight. While it's charging, if the battery is low, it will be red 
on the battery indicator light. Once it's fully charged, it will turn green. So this happens automatically. There's no other switches that you have to turn on. It's gonna charge con continuously on its own. Now let's talk about the hand crank charging. By cranking this hand crank, you will charge the lithium ion battery. Make sure the radio is off so it will charge faster and make sure the bottom switch is set to lithium to Lion. Turning the hand crank, the built-in dynamo will begin to generate power to the Lion battery and you'll get a red indicator light up here showing that you are charging the unit. Now with a dead battery, you can crank this for one minute and that will give you five to seven minutes of continuous LED flashlight or three to five minutes of continuous radio. Crank that dynamo. And yet another way to charge the lithium ion battery here is to set the switch into the lion position, which it is. Set the USB charging and SOS alarm on off switch to the charge position. Open the micro USB charging protective cover. Insert your included micro USB into the corresponding port. Plug the other end into the USB of your computer or any USB connector in your RV or in your house. Once the USB is plugged into your charging source, you see the light on the front of the unit is red and it will turn green once the unit is fully charged. Now let's say your phone is getting low on charge. Take your phone charging cord, plug it into your phone, take the USB end, plug it into this little guy, and now you can see this little guy is charging your phone. Now the maximum amount of time you want to charge this unit by plugging into a wall or USB is six hours. Why? Well, we know how lie on batteries can be. So you don't want to uh, leave that plugged in when it, the unit is fully charged because it could overheat and or bad things could happen. That's another thing I like about this tiny unit is you have three different ways that you could charge your phone up. You could select the charge button on the bottom of the unit. Boom. The device shows that it is now charging. You can also use the AAA batteries on board to charge your phone. It also says in the instructions that you can use this hand crank to charge your telephone. However, there runs into a little problem. We run into a little problem. The hand crank cannot be rotated fully clockwise there without running into the USB connector. So you'd have to get some other type of USB connector, I suppose. Disconnect the USB connection when you are using the radio to receive the AM band or it may have uh, noise interference with the charging of the phone signal. Now, should you be in a situation uh, lost or, you know, out in the woods or you're in a catastrophe area and you're trapped inside of a collapsed building or whatever and you're incapacitated and you can't shout out and you know people are looking for you and you hear them nearby, go to the bottom of your unit, flip it to SOS. And there you have a very loud way of signaling somebody nearby. Keep little gadgets like this nearby the manual that came with them should they have information that you could use to help you with that unit on down the road. For example, here on this page they give you the weather bands uh, and where to find them on the tuner. Okay, so I'm in a room here. Let's see if we can tune in a weather band. Let's put up our antenna and we're going to turn the unit on. Let me look at the bottom make sure I am selected for Lion. I am. and. I'm going to turn the unit on. So it's not something that starts when their 15th birthday arrives. So this F is F and band. And you tune this awesome. until you get a nice good solid light there from the tuning window. Now if you're going to do a weather band, we come all the way over right there. You can tune into these bands and there you will find very important information such as where are the shelters, where are they passing out water and food, where's Red Cross, where's First Aid, where's the hospital, uh, all that information, where's the storm, all that information is available to you there with this little guy. In your house I would recommend putting one in your kitchen area uh, in a, some sort of bug out bag or a preparedness kit and also in the bedroom. Um, so if something happens in the middle of the night, you can get to this quickly. Small, compact, it, it's easy to store in your RV. And I apologize for the uh, work in progress studio. As you know, everything is just com you know coming together here recently. Okay, let's talk about the pros and cons. Pros and cons. Pros. Small, compact, 
carries easy, stores very easy. Water resistant with a good rubberized coating for a nice good grip. I like this flashlight arrangement, how they put the button right behind the light just like you would hold a regular flashlight. Very nice, and you can focus the beam. I like the fact that anytime this is outside, the solar panel is automatically charging the line as long as it's in sunlight. I like that it has this hands-free reading light right here under the solar panel. Whatever power you use, you can make it up by hanging out while you're cooking and crank that crank and charge your battery back up. The SOS strobe is really bright and the SOS alarm is really loud. Awesome feature to have. Another great feature I like about this is the three ways that you have to charge that Lion battery. You have your hand crank, you have the solar panel, and you have the USB charging port. And finally, the price compared to the quality and all of these cool things that this thing offers. Cons. I don't see an earplug jack anywhere on here. You want to be able to pop that in and monitor the situation. Secondly, the quality of the speaker could be a little better, I think. They're probably trying to save space and cost. And all, all you really need to do is just hear what information is being put out there. So it serves its purpose, but, um, and it probably keeps the price down. So I would like to put one of these in your hands. So like this video, subscribe, and down in the comments below, please tell me about why you want one of these in your life. If you're in your car, boat, RV, whatever it may be. Okay, I hope you were able to take something useful away from this video uh, and you are having a fantastic holiday season. I'm about to move into my new home and get things set up there, so thank you for being patient. Once I get that established, I'll be rolling out some serious therapy. Meanwhile, be safe, take care, and thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, you're probably wondering what closet was I hiding in? Hmm. Well, this is the new place. Work in progress. I still have boxes to go through, pictures to hang. Just replaced the carpet in the master. Appliances are being installed. It's slowly but surely coming together, so stay tuned for the full reveal.